hey guys welcome back to my channel for those who are new don't forget to hit the subscription button for those who have always been here since day one i thank you and remember to turn on post notification in this vlog i'll be talking about portland now y'all already know how i feel about portland it is by far my favorite and one of the most beautiful parishes in jamaica and i went there on a little staycation and i truly enjoyed it but without further ado let's get into this vlog all right guys so i am heading out to portland driving from montego bay oh god i am dreading this drive <laughs> it's gonna be a four and a half hour drive um which the plan was initially to stop over in kingston but then that just never worked out because that's what i always do if you're going to portland just stop over in kingston and then drive from kingston to portland because it's a long drive it's a long long drive but in the end i know it's going to be worth it i wish portland wasn't so far but yeah heading out so next stop portland Oh, we finally made it Seacliff Resort and Spa and I'm telling you the drive wasn't that bad because you know I went through St. Mary but it was good and this is it right here this is the resort and this is the back of it but it's very nice I love the aesthetic of it and the architecture um, right up front they have a nice little koi pond I want to say it's a koi pond um, I'm not 100% sure I think the fishes that were there are Oscar fish again guys don't quote me on these stuff i'm not 100 percent sure but it's a, again this adds adds to the aesthetic of the entire thing and then we were on the third floor now just to be mindful that right there you have to watch your head but without further ado here is the okay, room tour made it. Made it to sleep this is our room all right it's nice you know it's nice we have you know, settings and in here hot and when I came in initially I was just like, where is the AC? But there it is in the corner right there. God bless. <laughs> some of these fireplace trees, I didn't already have AC because you know it's on the seafront. Here this is the some form of decoration. I never really let them just go to the room it's just you can take it off. <laughs> it is. It's so cool, it's like a little bed night uh, and then I have this is underneath the bed. I don't know why, but this is underneath the bed. There's no plug. I was looking. I like to choose the side of the bed where the plug is. There's no closet, but they, they have a safety box under here for your valuable meals. And this thing right here has hangers on it. So I'm going to assume if you have any clothes you want to hang up, this is where you're going to hang it. <laughs> um, and it's okay. So there's no fridge. There's no TV. Uh, but other than that, really matter to me, anyways. Yeah. Oh, they have a spa. <laughs> They're already waiting for me. Where's the massage? So before we get to the secret, let me show you the bathroom. Which is very rustic. You know. I have a... We have this top one right here. Then there is this. I've never seen this before. It's so all on. Then I don't know how. So you turn on this pipe. I think it's when you uh, you use that to turn it off, and then you use this to turn this on. And honestly, I just I don't know um, why we would need a pipe angled like this. I'm assuming it's like for a bidet. Um, but yeah, interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. I made a like, even from the bathroom we have a nice view of everywhere. Since I did a little sneak peek of the view, now here is the real deal. Oh, and they have a hammock right there on the balcony. But look at this view. The pool, you can see the entire sea, and there was nothing but the sound of the waves crashing on the shore, and I just love that. Now, since I'm Doing a little property tour, I might as well bring you guys down to the pool area, right? Now, this pool is salt water, right? So, and I find a lot of these little resorts, that's how they do it. It's salt water based pool. And they had these built-in beds. So, I mean, you know, the concrete's like 
probably look tough. I never really went yeah, anywhere. Exactly. You know, it's a good look. It's a good look. It's creative, right? And one of my most absolute favorite thing about this resort was that you had the sea view absolutely everywhere. Hence the name Sea Cliff Resort. Then definitely never missed with that. And we had dinner. So the restaurant that is there is called um cliffhanger restaurant and the food oh my god we ordered it before we arrived and they did not miss the chef put him foot in it we had curry conch curry mutton sweet and sour wings and it was amazing but that's enough of the tour time for the prala line now. all right so i'm at the alligator foundation i'm gonna go snorkeling i'm praying that i can see some some turtles i've been trying to see turtles for the longest so i'm praying that i see some turtles um and they have some lion fish right here i'm gonna show you guys all right guys so we're at the alligator head foundation now this is a non-profit organization that focuses on the sustainability of the reach as well as the protection of marine life and they also do this by educating the masses about the importance of this now one way they do this is by having like a coral nursery where they grow the little coral reefs and they go back and they plant it back out in the sea and i think that's very cool now these creatures right here these are the lion fish now these are invasive species to the caribbean sea they're originally from the red sea and they're brought here and they don't have a natural predator here so they grow they breed up they multiply and they eat a lot of our marine life and so the foundation have some of them here on display i think they catch them and kind of you know clear them out of the sea because they're a danger to our natural fishes that we need and right here we have one of the guys andre he was gonna show us how them really quick and fast i mean i guess that's where they're getting the name lion from because they're like real predators now look at that little fish that we just dropped in the aquarium look at that boom quick and fast lightning and then they did the little turn now this is the female not a smaller one that's there that's the male but anyways further ado why we're here this is our tour guide so we're gonna go to blue lagoon okay so um hello island as well which island? Pillow Island. Pillow Island. Yeah. Okay. I'm super excited. And he promised me he's going to let me see the turtles. And I'm going to hold him to it. Alright. So I'm super, super excited. About going to see the turtles. So we're going to take a small boat ride. And I'm really excited. I tried to come here a couple of months back. But it rained heavily the night heavily. before. Okay. And when we caught her, it just like it makes no sense. Nice. Again, that's true. It's going to make you want to come as i mentioned before guys we're going to see the turtles i'm super excited and then to the blue lagoon but look in the distance this is a trident castle this is the only castle that is in jamaica it was built in the 1980s early 1980s by a famous architect by the name of earl levi it's so very big and grand it has courtyard a ballroom numerous different rooms um he also sold it to the billionaire michael lee chain later on in the 2000s at like 2.5 million it was like valued for 8 million but things are above my peer grade anyways like i said heading down to see the turtles i'm super super excited we're out on the boat and this board it was very nice guys can you tell me which location this is spam the comments if you know where this is right we're in portland on port and port antonio heading out to blue lagoon and here's a closer look look at this water look at it like jamaica is paradise in every single way shape and form of that word like it truly is and i really encourage everybody to go out and enjoy <laughs> our beautiful island while going along the coast we also saw numerous little villas i don't even know if this is a villa or it's just a cottage but it just give me that you know you want to be alone vibe you know it's like solitude you want to get away from reality probably wondering how you get up here here's the stairs and it's listen portland is just it's just everything to me honestly anywho so we made it to the area where the turtles are most likely to be and we were on the boat and he had to go very slow and then literally yeah. out of the blue under the one of them swam the directly <gasps> beneath the boat right there and you can't really see it good but it's right there like and it actually looked better in person now these creatures are magnificent the hawks build turtles the foundation try their very best to protect them and in every way they can and they do a very good job when we're out here you could see some of them come up just to catch air here's one right there in the shadow and when you look there was at least seven or eight of them that i could see from the surface 
and they were so close and the water was shallow so i just went ahead with the gopro and i put it right underneath the water and luckily i caught one look at it oh magnificent beautiful in every single way shape and form and i love what they're doing to help protect these um creatures because i didn't even know there was a place in jamaica with cool and sea turtles hopefully sometime in the future they're tame enough where we can actually hold them but until then this was enough for me so blue lagoon time blue lagoon you have the same minerals like what i'm having in south africa yes ma'am he's been doing this for 30 years guys look yes. at you Sam so young and fresh a jamaican jeans that yes <laughs> so we're back on the blue lagoon well guys we made it to the blue lagoon the infamous or should i say famous blue lagoon and it's quite beautiful i definitely recommend you guys put this on your one of your places to go put it on your bucket list it has the thick lush greenery nice deep blue turquoise water actually the water is <laughs> the blue is like it changes just like the temperature of the water and we couldn't wait we just had to dive right in and young sir here led the way and i followed shortly after um but like i'm saying so the water you see when you go into the water it has it's like some parts are cold and then some parts are warm and it's just like your hand your left hand is cold your right hand is warm you dive right in and you just overcome with different <laughs> different temperature i don't even know how to describe it. you just have to go there and experience it yourself um the air that we're at you know the tree has a rope so we're really going up swinging off jumping off all of that everybody was pretty much being a monkey man even though this is not monkey island and yes we're gonna go down by the monkey island so stay tuned for that um so you know everywhere has its little rumors you know jamaican folklore i cannot go to these places and not discuss them so it's rumored that it's it's very deep and that's no doubt it's very very deep at least 210 feet is what they say and it's rumored that there's a dragon at the bottom of it um some people say it's bottomless i don't know who did the measurements to know that it's 210 feet kudos to you um so yeah but anyways the rope wasn't enough for young sir right here right so he, he had to take it a little step further um if it's kind of dark and shaky i apologize it's my gopro and you know he really missed this calling to be a part of jamaica's olympic diving team if you ask me but i give him an eight out of ten for that one the blue lagoon also offers rafting we never went rafting but you know it offers rafting i think it's three five for two persons and they bring you up and down the coast um after all of that jumping and diving in and all of that we just relaxed for a little bit enjoyed the water um again this tour i really recommend you guys go with alligator head foundation it was 3500 and from the 3500 we got a glass glass bottom boat ride where we got to see the turtles they brought us to blue lagoon we went this is another area as well separate from where we were, we were on the swing and we we're just chilling we headed straight down to monkey island and we also did snorkeling and you're gonna see all of this you guys just have to stay tuned but i'm just telling you for a non-profit organization they really do offer a lot and you know guys go ask for damian ask for andre and just enjoy the experience all together so you see me struggling right here i had the bright idea of standing on the rope to offer then back a little swing because it's a swing you know but there's nobody there to push me so i was trying to see if i could when i stand on it if i could get some momentum to go back and forth um but i don't know some in a light so the wind alone could do it me never get the momentum but all in all <laughs> all in all i really had fun i really had fun guys so the blue lagoon so here's one last look at it guys the blue lagoon a mixture of salt water and fresh water it's hot it's cold it's just a it's just very unique and again keep saying it alligator head foundation i only came here to go snorkeling with the turtles and then i got all of this with it as well but no like i tell you we're going out to monkey island see along the blue lagoon there's numerous villas and these are the these are the villas right 
very expensive you know pricey depending it prices range from 700 to 1200 per night you see this one right here is being built this yellow thing right there is to prevent the debris from coming out into the water so you know they have the protocols in place and there are numerous different villas along the coast and most of the celebrities go here i know the guy pointed out one that shaggy mostly goes to i think one of them over there belongs to usain bolt Anyway, guys, when the signal ads them pop up, just watch it for like 15, 20 seconds each one of them. Help a sister out, right? And I know I mentioned the pricing earlier, but what I forgot to tell you is that they tend to come with like a, a chef. Yeah, they tend to come with chef and yeah, you'll get like the canoe so you can, you can canoe and all the way out to Monkey Island. Or you can go down by the Blue Lagoon and, you know, it comes with different water sport um, gears like snorkeling and stuff like that. Yeah, so most of these villas, you can see they're, like, they're doing some amount of renovation or some of them look like they're just finished being renovated. And then this one right here, my God. They, <laughs> um, Andre was telling us that, that they refuse to sell it and they refuse to fix it up. So it's just there in the corner. And then this is a brand new one that's being built right now. And I'm, boy, the people are make money because me know this is not cheap, but hey, <laughs> good for them. Um, so yeah, we made it to Monkey Island. Now, why is it called Monkey Island? Why is it called Monkey Island? Back in there, back in way, way, as Jamaican would say, this is the island right here was inhabited by monkeys that were brought here by Alfred Mitchell. Remember that name, because I'm going to get back to that. But for the most part, we're finally snorkeling, which is what we actually came here to do. We are finally out to go and snorkel. But guys, guess what happened? <laughs> unfortunately unfortunately my gopro was tired of me well not really tired of me the battery the battery died on me and this was the only thing i could show you guys from what we saw um a conch right here and we had an empty conch shell and that's the empty one and then the other one was very much still alive but we put them back um just the same and then we went further on like all the way around and we saw the reefs and some more fishes and i am so so very annoyed that my battery died and i did have the other battery you know but i left it in the car not that i can you can help me in the car anyways mr olympic <laughs> diver um had the bright idea that we should swim underneath the glass boat and i was just like yeah you know that this looks cool you know yeah let's go underneath the glass boat and all of that guys it was one of the biggest struggle for me right you see you can't have a simmer you know simmer there another corner look struggling struggling just struggling so it looks easy or he makes it looks easy so initially i thought it was because i had on the the, the the snorkeling gear i took it off but that wasn't the case it was still a struggle it was still a struggle all over again and he he went again and again yeah he makes it looks very easy but you see the thing is the boat is moving while you're going on there now so it, it's really hard and as you guys saw i was struggling but i give him a 10 out of 10. so you know that like we did a lot too. and by this time it was like 12 one o'clock so we're heading back listen the blue listen the water it is it is a different type of blue it's, it's, i can't even explain it so like just look how clear it is and this was super high up but we're heading back now we're hungry so um the tour guys they were telling us about uh a little area at the craft village that has food so that's exactly where we're headed to after we left and this is it right here the craft village um pulling up you know it's nice it's cute it's quaint it's quiet and they have a nice little bar when you enter and i thought that was cool um I'm no stranger to craft markets or craft village because like literally my entire family works there. But this is the first time I'm seeing like a bar like that in the middle of a craft village. So it was it was pretty cool. Yeah, so you step in and they have numerous carvings, a whole lot of carvings. And then there was this gentleman there who was doing it. I was actually intrigued by it. I was just like, how long did it take? He said it, it started around 8 a.m. And it was 2.30 at this time. And look how far he, he reached. Um, so, yeah, very, very talented people we have here in Jamaica. He gave me one of these bracelets. So apparently, this bracelet, bracelet sorry, is made from coral reef. I've actually never seen anybody with anything like it. 
but just one more look at the carvings that they have guys as always go and support the locals i am so big on that um we actually went and did a little bit of shopping well you know we really came here for the food and they have a nice area where you can actually dine and the view around the back is good as well you can see the sea um we got pizza at yash cafe i think that's how it's pronounced um and the, the it's done to order they make it from scratch they have the different sizes and then the pricing is right here depending on amount of slices that you want so they have 7 inch 12 and 14 and 16 inch so i went with a 16 inch pizza and you order the different toppings there are other restaurants there like this one right here which is mostly seafood you have different types of fish shrimp you know they had alfredo um the sides are bami planting potato wedges there was a smoothie bar but it wasn't open so because our food was done to order we just went to the bar look at it well stocked and i had some tequila so we we're gonna take some shots while we waited on the pizza to be ready it was roughly 45 minutes to say for the pizza because i could get like i said they make it from scratch um and you know it was 1300 for the 16 inch but yeah different toppings that you had at different prices like a hundred dollar per topping and so forth and they had different different toppings so that was the first shot and you know you just a warm up so you have to take a second one so we went ahead and we took a second shot i know most people would you know eat before them take the shot but you know nothing wrong with the reverse um so the bar was actually a whole vibe again copyrights i had to mute this voice it over but they were playing bruno mars leave the door open and we were just vibing and waiting for the food to arrive and then it did oh the pizza look at it guys look at it i had a whole lot of different toppings and the burger we ordered burger it came with seasoned fries and even though the wait was estimated to be like 30 to 40 minutes i don't know if it's because we're at the bar and we're just vibing and thing like the time went by pretty quickly and the pizza the toppings i had onions sweet pepper pineapple chicken ham i went all out with the toppings and it was heavenly it really was it was good um the only thing with the pizza is that it, it could have had like a some more sauce like some to make more a little bit more tomato sauce or barbecue sauce on it but it looks as good as it tasted trust me anyways we ate i took one more shot and then we're back on the road again because we're going to the next spot because at this time it was for 3 p.m so the next spot was a river i was looking for now we are in chepstow portland and i found this river was this the river i was looking for no but that's the beauty of it all right after finding this river it had a little of everything i had my float i always bring my float and i was just chilling as always just relaxing you know we did a lot of up and down recently so i just came and we're relaxing some of the locals were there and they were playing what they call catch him which is kind of like tag so basically one person is trying to catch all of them i believe like they were just swimming look at them from point a to point b chasing after each other i think they were trying to catch one particular person oh, yeah. it was so serious i even caught this one in my crawl up on the floor you would have think so warm there and in my hide and you know like they're <laughs> I still don't know who was trying to catch who you know but eventually i figured out, i think it was the one in the green shorts that was trying to catch everybody else because like when he came up everybody was running away from him and swimming and he was going after everybody they were just diving in and out of the water honestly everybody was just having a good time they were doing foot stands we were even joining sorry handstands what am i talking about <laughs> <laughs> one time i look again up in at the tree him there and afterwards we miss when him diving but him jumping and then everybody else start jumping and you know watch Ari Ari over the bottom the, the, the rock like a mermaid <laughs> yeah and it, the game went on and on it went on and on i don't even know when it did finish right because evil evil us started playing we started playing with them you know was, but afterwards me I just take my little float go back up at the top because the the river the current is not strong that strong so it just carries you down like a like a literal lazy river that's literally what it is and i went back down the river again and i just chilled and everybody else was 
was still playing catch him, I believe. But yeah, Ari and I weren't on that. We were just floating, chilling. And after that, we started doing some diving. Now, Mr. Young Sir here definitely needs to be a part of the Olympic team. Look at that beautiful finish. Beautiful finish. No, man, the one that get 10 out of 10. The one that get 10 out of 10. Everybody else went after as well. Now, like I said, I was initially looking for this river, right? I was looking for a particular falls, which, under my understanding, was called Spanish River or Marley Falls, which the locals were telling me is actually quite is up the road, but one of them that's up the docks, so I'm not really like go up there because the current can be strong and it's kind of deep, but right here, so it's nice. So you have this part where you can jump off and dive in, but there's also a shallow area and then you know you have the part where you can you know just be in the float and float go down the river and then there's another section that i mean this is the last part i'm gonna show you guys i really like this part of the river um so this is me making my way over there and i know it seems as if though the current is a bit strong and you know some people see that and be like nah, go river, yeah, go wash me. but you can see it's mid thigh wasn't that strong a nice picturesque place you could go and take pictures the sound of the way the water sounds very nice I eventually climbed up over there and it was like a perfect little seat so I just sat down and I just let the water run all over me you know at one point I dipped my head you know let my hair down although I don't have any hair to let down by the way guys check out my big chop video if you haven't seen it as yet watch that video like that video share the video share this video as well like this video as well subscribe you know like up all my videos if you see the ads guys just watch a little 10 15 seconds you no know? i beg of you but anyways again this is in chepstow portland i was actually looking for spanish river big up all of the guys them that we met manayad jamar all the other ones i can't remember everybody's name i'm so sorry manayad how did he get that name it's so funny he has a little gray patch and he lives at home with his mother and his little sister and he's literally the only man in the house so his nickname is manayad i could never forget that <laughs> anyways we're headed back stop at the gas station people tell me 194 dollars per liter per liter and and you know no cool oasis not up here so me me's a cool oasis girl a cool oasis me buy my gas and if there's no cool oasis me try like a pet come you know what else me we take me take a um this one place out of chilonia what name start with j more said jerusalem but i know jerusalem or johnson either way cool oasis my thing the alley way i know cool no cool oasis not up here we would go i would try to guess this one pass first what went to rehearsals out? It was a total. Yeah. Oh my god. Not a total. Then there are rubies. A rubies made up of Virgo because how the roundabout set up if I pass rubies then I forgot all the way around. And you don't know so rubies is have the bad gas other day. I mean I try to mash up Teddy engine. Two hundred and ninety four. I cannot afford it. The cost of living. Wow. But the two thousand dollars bring me back a half tank. Half tank. I mean I do no long driving tomorrow. It's crazy, man. It's well, the Prada line not done yet. We're at Folly Ruins. I thought the lighthouse would have been close by, but it's not. So I'm gonna go in. All right, guys. Remember when I said to remember the name Alfred Mitchell? Okay. So this right here was a mansion that was built by Alfred Mitchell, which is a rich businessman who built the house as a gift for his bride now his bride was the heiress to the tiffany fortune and um jamaican folklore again is that he built it in such a haste to get it ready and done for her that he had mixed the concrete with salt water which eventually never held up and it decayed over time now that's the one story the other story is that the man built a house. The house did good, but then he died. He was like 80. Then the wife sold the house, moved back to America, and somebody else who bought the house, they never maintained it. And eventually, over time, it just decayed away. Now, Alfred, like I mentioned before, when he came, he brought a lot of exotic animals, peacocks, camels, monkeys. And when he, they left, the monkeys were free to roam and that's how they in inhabited the monkey island that's where it got in got its name from now this place was very grand it had a indoor swimming pool generator dining room a whole host of things it was very very grand 
anyways i feel like i've been talking a lot um all good things must come to an end we did all of that in one day so this just goes to show that a lot can be accomplished in one day a lot of places you can go and view in one day and get a full experience of portland and the view just driving along the coast every single where in portland is just breathtakingly beautiful and i think that's one of the most things i love about it as always guys remember like share subscribe turn on post notification and watch the ads thank you